Hey YouTube family and welcome back to another Kajabi tutorial. Would you like to create a table of contents section for your blog post that looks like this? If you've been using Kajabi for any amount of time, you know that one of its powerful features is the ability to create online courses. And you also know that you can use Kajabi to create your blog content as well. If you're like me, you moved from, you moved your blog from WordPress to Kajabi and now you're looking for ways to make your Kajabi content look and feel more professional, just like it did in WordPress. In today's video, I'm gonna share how to create your table of contents for your Kajabi blog. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is April. I'm a multi-passionate online marketing strategist and webinar funnel architect. I help online business owners who struggle with marketing their business to make money teaching what they know through my mixture of courses, trainings, digital products done for you and VIP services. So if you would like to join my YouTube family, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So let's head over to my PC. Okay, so you're here because you want to add a table of contents to your Kajabi blog. And I don't blame you. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so just like we did before with adding the affiliate disclaimer, it's going to be the same thing with the table of contents. It's super, well, no, I, I no, no, I take that back. Uh, this one's going to be a little more complicated, but just watch, follow along, and we're going to get through this. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's, let's do the easiest thing first. Let's go to website, and we're going to add the style first, the coding. Let's go to pages, because that's like the easiest thing to do. You're going to scroll down, but in my example, it's at the top. You want to... Find blog and click on customize. Now, if this is the first video you've seen in this series, then you probably don't have any style coding yet. Um, but I'm sorry. So when you get here, you're going to click on settings and then custom code. And so, like I was saying, if this is your first time here, this is probably blank. It probably says CSS uh, code goes here. Um, in a previous video, I added an affiliate disclaimer CSS styling. So now we're going to add the table of contents. So I'm just going to grab this right quick, bring it down here. You don't need to, but just in case you want to keep things, you know, organized and know like this coding is for this, this coding is for that. I'm going to put table of contents style. And then I'm going to go grab that coding for the table of contents. And you can go, you can scroll to the description of this video and grab the coding in there. Or if it's easy for you, there is also a blog version of this video. So you can head over to the blog and uh, you can follow along there as well. So a lot more coding here. Uh, again, we got background color. We got the font size. Um... We have margins and paddings. We have the, the title of the table of contents, which I just named table of contents. Uh, we have the other coding for the overall container. So here, like I said, you could change the colors, colors, font size, the padding around like the 20 pixels. Auto will just fit whatever is actually in the table of contents. So if there's not a lot in there, it's going to be a smaller table. If it's a lot of words, like in your table of contents, like your subhead lines are really long, then it's going to be a longer table. But I'll, you know, I'll show you. Um, so yeah, so that's the easy part. Boom, hit save, done. Now comes a little bit more tricky. And then again, if you go to the blog post, I'll have like all this code available to make it as easy as possible. But, you know, I'm going to break it down in this video because I find that when you understand why you're doing something, it's a lot easier to do it. <laughs> I took out the disclaimer code just so it, this could be nice and fresh. Okay. So, um, okay. So what I'm going to do right now is hit enter once. So I have a, I have a couple of lines to work with, so I don't have to type in the paragraph coding. 
So I'm going to go back to source code. I'm going to get rid of that first uh, line and paste in my coding. I'm going to hit and enter a few times so we can actually see this. This is a jumbled mess, but what I'm going to do is hit, hit enter. So it's easier to see what we're doing. And again, this coding will be in the blog post. Okay, so this is going to be what the table of content actually looks like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot to tell you, so, so we want this to be clickable. So when you go to the table of contents and you click on one of the subheadlines, it takes you right down to the headlines. So, okay, so now we need to create subheadlines. And here is the coding for, actually I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave that paragraph tag there. Here are my headlines. Of course, I am missing a conclusion. So I'm gonna name this conclusion, conclusion. Okay, so we have our subheader one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so here we go. There is our table of content and there are our sub headlines. Now, I will say when you're in the back end of your blog, this doesn't look like much. So let me hit save and then you can, you know, copy the link or you can even click on preview. But when you look at the front end of your blog, it's going to look like this. And when I click on subheadline one, it's going to take me to subheader one, subheadline two to two. You can just name these whatever you want. Again, when I'm dealing with like manipulating the code, I, I kind of like to click in here and name it myself. And you're going to find that the, the, the coding is all jumbled up again because I clicked OK and I got out of it. So, yeah. But subheadline one, you know, I could name it the beginning. Like if I had a, a blog and the first step headline was the beginning and you're just going to name both of them. Why do I like doing that? The beginning. Um, but yeah, let me let me talk about why it's like this. Just in case you have more than or you need more than seven sub headlines. Okay, let me just break this up so it's easier to look at again. This is the code and basically what it's saying for the table of contents. These are anchor codes and these are link codes. The, the A, H, R, E, F are linking to this hashtag subheadline two. So whenever we see, or so whenever this um, link is going to be looking for the subheadline hashtag two, it's going to find it down here and anchor it. So up here with the table of contents, we're using the hashtags. That's what's creating the link. So if you wanted to add, you know, eight, nine, 10, it would just be easier to copy this, enter, change this to eight. Sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna do eight, nine, and 10. But now you need to come up here. Don't forget that this is a jumbled looking mess. So if it makes it easier for you to do like I did and hit enter whenever the link code starts, by all means do that. So we're gonna copy this, enter, paste that line in there. We're gonna change this to eight, nine, 10, eight, nine, 10. And then we have our conclusion. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I'll hit save. I'll come to the blog post preview, refresh, there you go, 10 goes to 10. Now, if for some reason you just cannot stand it looking like this, in the blog post, I'm going to add another table of content that, well, let me, I'll show you right quick, hold on. I will show you what I mean. I'm just not going to put it in the disclaimer because I do not want to confuse you with two different table of content uh, codes. 
But if you desired coding that doesn't look like a jumbled mess, you can use this HTML coding and it's it's more structured in the back end. I just don't like how it looks on the front end. I prefer, even though this is a jumbled mess, I just personally prefer the way that the jumbled mess looks on the front end. Uh, so that would be your preference. On the back end, if this just hurts your eyes and you don't want to deal with hitting enter because you're afraid you might type over something by accident and you would rather use something a little more clean, you can definitely, you could definitely do this. So um, because this version uses the exact same name, TOC underscore container, TOC underscore container, these are going to have the exact same style. I'm going to hit okay. All right. So yeah. All right. So let's hit save. Let's go here, refresh the preview. And so this is what it looks like. I, I guess I just didn't like how it indents everything. I like my table of contents, you know, all left aligned. And I just didn't like that this indents. So if you're like, oh, I don't care. I, I absolutely do not care. Then you can definitely use the second version. I'm not going to post it in the bottom. Go to the blog post. If you like that second version better, grab that code it has the bullets on the back end but on the front end it does not and again you can change the border uh you can change the border color and you can change what this says table of contents just by typing typing something else you know table of contents for the win whatever um you know you want like when it when it comes to text it's basically whatever you want to type. Okay, so there you go. You've just created your table of contents for your Kajabi blog. And if you would like more tips and support about Kajabi, online business, or digital marketing, sign up to my email list below and let me know how I can help. And be sure to check out this video next on how to add a affiliate disclaimer to your Kajabi blog.